sustainable development we have seen the meaning of the word sustainable development we have seen in the examples like what are the conditions that are going to influence for us when we come across any problems or what would be the consequences of the issue of the clarity now how do we calculate this one can we calculate it with scale can we do it with maths like how do we calculate all these things is it possible to calculate the sustainable development you can put a question here sir what would be the sustainable question or like what would be the sustainable development mean for a large can we say like a country like america is developed is this america are following the sustainable development or the resources which are in america are sustainable is america developed to that extent that are we following the sustainable limits there can india follow these limitations are we following it are we neglecting it if you are neglecting what is the unvo doing for this what are the measures taken by the other governments or why we are not following this this all could be the reasons for us before addressing all these issues let us see how the basic calculation of sustainable development is calculated for example see here human development index is represented by hdi i think you all know what is the meaning of the word hdi human h for human d for development the i stands for index now human development index we have development here sustainable development now the concept is human development what is the variation between these two as we discussed earlier human development means human beings getting developed is the concept right no it was the far most old feeling of humans development the actual meaning or the present meaning is the development which is happening for the human beings the concept is the development which is happening for the human beings at what level is it happening is it happening at a very good rate or a less rate or it is questionable or is it acceptable this all is index it is a criteria for us to assess the things so how is the development of the human being is shown in an index is called hdi human development index now in this human development index what are the aspects or the points that we are going to cover here as we all know the previous lessons we have discussed that infant mortality rate infant mortality rate next the concept is literacy rate next we have the after infant mortality rate we have the literacy rate then life expectancy now see here in the human development index it is a clear cut vision for us development for the human beings where the human beings are developing are they developing in their body parts no it's not in the body parts it is in the development of the way of living in the development trends see here infant mortality rate earlier we have the infant mortality rate means the, the word infant mortality means infant is a small child who was born or less than from 1 year of age is called an infant mortality means the rate of deaths of the small children from 0 to 5 years is called infant mortality rate the next concept what we have is literacy every person who can read and write in any of the indian languages here we have to remember coming to languages what how many languages does in the indian constitution give recognition for that i think you all know language means the means of communication either by verbal or by written both comes under communication of language or the uses of the language indian constitution has recognized 18 languages earlier recently in 2002 after the latest amendments four more were added for it and it was made 22 so we get 22 languages recognized by the indian constitution which means that in india all the 22 languages are permitted for all the official works other than this 
English also is added for us and we get the clarity on the languages. Now, any individual above the age of 7 years, which means a boy who is above age, age of 7 years or a girl who is an above age of 7 years, which means like above 4th standard could be an easy criteria for us to understand the issue. Above 4th standard, who is able to read and write, who is able to read the newspaper and put his views on the paper. Like for example, if you want to express something, he can put the views on the paper and express his feelings. Then he is called read and writing capacities are there with the individual or with the boy or with the child. So the person who is above 7 years of age and who has the capacity to read and write is called literate person. That condition or the situation is called literacy. Next, we have the life expectancy. As soon as a boy is born or a girl is born, how many years they are going to survive on this earth? Especially basing on the country, we have the clarity on this. For example, if you are born in America or in England or somewhere, you have the life expectancy more than 75 years there. When it comes to Pakistan, you may have only 50 years the life expectancy or less than that. If you are born in like Saudi or somewhere, you may have up to 65 to 80 years. Coming to our country, what is India's life expectancy? It is earlier it was 60 years. Now it is expected that 74 years or like 65 to 70 years. Now infant mortality rate we have discussed, literacy rate we have discussed, life expectancy we have discussed. Now all these three together are they directly linked with the human development index? Do you think they are directly linked here? Yes, they are directly linked with the human beings. Automatically the human beings are developed. How do we say that human beings are developed? Because a boy who is born of 0 to 5 years if he is not surviving, there is no development there, there is no human being at all there. Then at the same time, if he is not able to read and write, he is not illiterate, he can't utilize his accessories, bank accounts or anything properly, then it is a negative point for him, he can't develop here. Then comes to life expectancy, if he dies at the age of less than 40 years, what is the positive point he is going to learn from here? He can't lead his family properly, those who are belonging to his family cannot rely on him properly. This all could be the other negative points. So, human development index is nothing but which shows these all criteria are fulfilled properly, then only we get the human development index successful for us. That leads to the success of the human beings in their day to day life. This is called human development index. Now, what is the link between human development index and the sustainable development? When all the human beings are developing properly, it leads to the overall growth of the society overall growth of the nation, overall growth of the region. That means it is a sustainable development in regards to human beings. We shall discuss what is the other important factor which we have for us for the sustainable development.